Hey, Jan Osher here. I recently had to produce 10 remote interviews for a webinar I was helping to produce for a consulting client. And rather than use Skype or Zoom, I decided to use vMix Call. And vMix Call is, uh, well, Call is a feature of the vMix live streaming software program that you're, you're looking at now, and I'll show you how to use it in a moment. And the reason I did this was I thought I could get a little bit better quality with vMix and also could get more creative control over what I wanted to do. So vMix is recording my video, which is coming here from a consumer camcorder connected with the Epifan AVIO. Um, so it's recording that locally, so that's going to be very, very good quality. And then the remote viewer is coming in through via WebRTC, and I'll, I'll show you how that's done. You don't need to know it's WebRTC, but you get a pretty high quality signal. And, and again, I think the audio and video that we were able to capture is better than what you can get with Zoom. And, and Skype, but also you get more control over the signals that you're capturing. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of the video signal. So this is the default interface and I'll build everything from scratch. So there's nothing loaded now. First thing I want to do is add the audio. Choose the microphone, not the AVIO, and I want to mute in headphones so I don't hear the audio when I'm speaking to the remote viewers. Now I want to add the video, that's up here. Again, I'm working with the FFN 4K ABIO and just a consumer camcorder that I have lying around. And I want to make sure that the audio is not coming into the mix here. And I'm going to pull this all the way down just to be sure. But since this isn't green, the audio isn't included in the mix. Next, I want to choose the virtual set I want to use. And this is just a simple way to combine the various elements that we're going to be using in this production. So I'll just do a simple side-by-side, -side, click OK. And now what I want to do is assign the, the audio from the microphone to this card here. And to do that, I come down here and I just choose any one of the positions that's not being occupied. So if I come down here, I see that there's a background, border, box, box. That's where the video goes. Overlay one, overlay two. Don't want to put it anywhere in any of those because they're already being used. But I can just drop it here, add the audio microphone. And again, this makes sure that the audio from the, uh, the microphone goes out to the remote viewer. So that's done. And now I want to assign box one to the AVIO. So this is what the production is going to look like. Let me put it into preview mode. And this is the base production that I'm going to use for every interview. So I would save this. And now all I have to do for each interview is call the remote interviewer. We're using the procedure, I'll, I'll go over here. Now, so I add another input, video call, copy this link and then send that link to the remote viewer. And what I did during the interviews was I asked the people to text me when they got the email and clicked join call, and then we'd have a back channel via text if there were any problems. Of course, there, there weren't any problems. Once they load the link, this is what they see. They type in their name and they type join call, and at that point I, I, was, you know, I asked them to text me. So let me send this message off to my side computer here. Then come over here to my side computer, get that done, and then close this window here. And here's the side view come in, and now I need to insert the side view into the mix here, which I come here, I choose two, I choose Jan side, and then I take the call live. And once I take it live, the remote viewer sees exactly what I'm seeing in the program window here. So we can start the conversation, uh, we can talk for a bit, and then when it's time to record, we just come down here and record. I just use an 8 megabit per second 1080p preset that was supplied by vMix. Click record, and the conversation's being recorded. Conversations took anywhere between 4 and 15 minutes, and when I was done, I said, thank you very much. Stop the recording, and if we look at the recordings over here, we see 
This is the video that was recorded locally using the uh, consumer camcorder and the Epifan 4KIO, and this is the video coming in uh, via my via Wi-Fi. So it's uh, pretty much the quality that I saw, even from people who I was dialoguing with and overseas. So the quality was generally good. And if we look at media info, we see that vMix did what it said and captured the 1080p file at eight megabits per second. So you can use Zoom and you can use Skype, and I think you get a little bit less creative flexibility and you also get lower quality for both video and audio. I chose to use the vMix solution and it produced very, very good quality, both audio and video for the interviews I did for this webinar. Anyway, that's it. This is how you use vMix call to record remote interviews.